The Google Tag Manager is a vital tool for tracking specific activities that are happening on your website or app, like form submissions, engagement, conversions, app downloads, and more. By leveraging the Google Tag Manager, you can ultimately improve your marketing efforts and website performance. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time here, thanks for joining me. Now today in this brief Google Tag Manager tutorial, I'm going to share the initial process of how you can install the Google Tag Manager onto your WordPress website in just a few simple steps. Okay, so before you go ahead and launch into the Google Tag Manager, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and set up your WordPress website with the Google Tag Manager. Okay, so let's go ahead and initially install the Google Tag Manager onto your WordPress website. The first thing that you need to do is simply head over to your browser and type in tagmanager.google.com and that's going to take you here. Now make sure that you have the correct Google account connected by navigating up to the top right hand corner. Then within your Google Tag Manager, simply go ahead and click on create account. Navigate over to account setup and add your company name. Then under country, go ahead and select the country that you're based in. And then come down to the container setup. This is where we want to add our website. So go ahead and add your website URL. Then navigate down to target platform and go ahead and select web. Because we want to add the Google Tag Manager onto our website. Then simply navigate down and click on create. Here we want to come down and accept the data processing terms as required by GDPR. Then simply navigate up to yes. And just like that we've created our Google Tag Manager account. Now what we need to do is go ahead and install the Google Tag Manager, this header tag as well as body tag on the back end of our WordPress website. So to do that, the first thing that we're gonna do is navigate up to this header Google tag snippet and go ahead and click on copy. And that's gonna copy this entire snippet. Then navigate over to the back end of your WordPress website. And once you've logged into your WordPress website, go ahead and locate plugins and then click on add new. Then under add plugins, simply navigate over to search plugins and type in HFCM. And that's going to generate the header footer code manager by 99robots. You can see that this plugin has over 400 plus active installations and five star reviews. Now, before you go ahead and click on install now, it's best practice to back up your WordPress website. Now, if you're not too sure how to back up your WordPress website, go ahead and check out this beginner's tutorial that I'll link up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process of backing up your WordPress website. This is just in case plugins and themes clash together and break your website, which can happen. Again, this is not essential. It is just best practice. Then once you've done that, go ahead and click on install now. And once you've installed the plugin, go ahead and click on activate. Then locate HFCM over on the left hand side and click on add new. Then here under snippet name, go ahead and add Google Tag Manager header. Because this specific snippet is going to be for the header snippet that we just copied earlier from the Google Tag Manager. Then come down to site display and we want to make sure that we have site wide selected then come down to location and make sure header is selected and simply navigate all the way down to snippet code and go ahead and paste in the code that we copied this is the header code then navigate down the page and click on save and this time what we want to do is navigate back over to hfcm and come down and click on add new again and this time what we're going to do under snippet name is add google tag manager body then simply navigate down to location and this time we're going to select footer and then down the bottom under snippet and code again what we want to do is paste in the body snippet to do that navigate back over to the google tag manager then here what we're going to do is come down to this snippet down here and go ahead and click on copy and then come down and click ok 
then simply head back to your WordPress website, then go ahead and paste in that code. Then click on save down below. Go ahead and locate HFCM again and click on all snippets. And congratulations, just like that, you've gone ahead and installed the Google Tag Manager onto your WordPress website. As you can see, we've added the header snippet as well as the body snippet. You can always go ahead and turn these off if you like at any point. Now to double check that the Google Tag Manager is functioning on your website correctly, simply go ahead and jump onto your website. Then if you're using Google Chrome, what you want to do is install a Chrome extension, which is called the Google Tag Assistant. Then what you want to do is enable the Google Tag Assistant and then go ahead and click on the extension. You might need to refresh your website page and you want to come down and see this Google Tag Manager with this little smiley face. And that's going to show that your Google Tag Manager is successfully activated on your WordPress website. So congratulations, as you can see, it's as simple as that to connect the Google Tag Manager with your WordPress website. Okay, so I'm gonna head back to our Google Tag Manager. And now what you can do is start creating and setting up tags to measure important events that are happening on your website. What I'll do is add a part two tutorial down below in our description that will guide you through the process of creating your first tag so that you can measure important activities happening on your website. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Google Tag Manager setup for WordPress. Now if you have any questions about this initial setup, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.